Why Barca fans hate Ernesto Valverde Ernesto Valverde replaced Luis Enrique as Barcelona's first coach on the 29th of May 2017. He took over a side that had won two league titles, three Copa del Reyes, and a Champions League title under Luis Enrique, the first Champions League since Pep Guardiola guided Barca to their fourth in history. Valverde took over a side that consisted of superstars such as Messi, Neymar, Iniesta, Coutinho, and Luis Suarez. However, during the preseason in July, it was already heavily speculated that Neymar would leave the club for PSG. After months of rumors, and a month later, it was official. Valverde's squad was hit with a blow, with one of the best players in the world departing. Barca's board acted quickly, as only three weeks later, Borussia Dortmund's youngster, Usman Dembele, was set to join the Catalan Giants. And so, with reinforcements in place, Valverde was set to dominate football. Barca's 17-18 spell began with a loss in both legs against Real Madrid in the Spanish Super Cup. Despite that, the fans and players kept their cool as they saw signs of improvement from last season. As the league began, Barca fans began to see Barca's famous press back in place, almost coinciding with Guardiola's six-second press rule. Barca went on to an unbeaten streak in La Liga, with 28 games won, 9 draws, and only 1 loss, which came in Messi's absence to their second-to-last game against Levante in a 5-4 thriller. But where did it all go wrong? Despite winning the league in Valverde's first season, with dreadful performances, clinching wins constantly in the final minutes, or being heavily reliant on Messi to save them, the biggest factor that stands out was the debacle against Roma in the quarterfinal. Barca entered with a confident 4-1 win at home in the first leg, and no one had expected anything but the semifinals. Roma turned it all around and shocked the world as they beat Barca by three goals to zero in Rome, winning the tie on the away goal rule. Barca fans blamed the loss on Valverde. With weird substitutions, a defensive approach, no control in the midfield, and bad management, such as bringing on Gomes to replace Iniesta to recover the win. The summer was met with hashtag Valverde out trending on Twitter. Though it got little attention, and it wasn't surprising, as the trend against the club's board in 2017 was waved off by a statement outlining the voices that opposed them came from fans outside of Spain. Along came his second season. Iniesta had left the club for Japan, and with new additions to the squad, such as Arturo Vidal, Arthur, Clément Langley, Barca fans, despite disapproving of him, gave Valverde a shot at redemption, following that humiliating loss in the Champions League just months earlier. But once again, the fan base became irritated with Valverde's obsession of starting Ivan Rakitic. Despite slowing down play, especially with his back passes that prevented progressive play, videos on social media even surfaced that highlighted Messi's annoyance on the pitch after Rakitic made a wrong pass. Despite Arthur, a young midfielder that fits the profile of Xavi being in the squad, Valverde still opted for Rakitic, who helped back the attack when easier passing lanes were available. With little creativity coming from the midfield, Messi oversaw the task of dropping deep in the midfield and creating by picking up the ball and taking it forward, or through long balls between the lines. Barca seemed to be solid in the group stages of the Champions League and did well to win against Lyon and Manchester United in the knockout stages. Meanwhile, they once again managed to win the league, again, clinching wins and being reliant on Messi. Then came the 7th of May. Barca arrived in Anfield with a 3-0 lead over Liverpool. After dominating the English side in the Camp Nou with Messi's sensational free kick sealing the first leg win, but it all went wrong. Barca, for the second year in a row, had blown away a 3-0 lead with defensive errors and Rakitic stood at the helm of it again. Other than Rakitic, Suarez constantly starting is also a reason why Valverde is criticized. Barca fans believe the reason they haven't won a Champions League is due to Suarez's sloppy shooting in the final third. After all, the man has not scored a goal away in the Champions League in three seasons. Barca fans had expected Valverde to resign after the loss. They had suffered another embarrassing Champions League night, but no, Valverde was here to stay. The fan base had had enough. Even those who backed the coach had now turned on him. There were trends on Twitter almost every week against the board and the manager. A protest was even scheduled outside the Camp Nou in June. 
Aside from disasters on the pitch, Valverde is often criticized for the lack of improving players. Usman Dembele is a good player, but often struggles with decision making and makes the same mistakes in the game when he's fit. Despite arriving at a young age, the player has not improved and we've seen very little changes, if any, of his traits that Ernesto Valverde could have affected. Lack of youth is another shortage of the coach. Players such as Alenia and Ricky Puig have only played very few games. Despite his talent, he has not received any call-ups to the first team. A point is often made that under a coach like Pep, he could have possibly already been a starter in the first team. Bayern Munich saw coach Niko Kovac resign at the start of November this year, after losing faith in his team and a poor run of results. And there was much talk in Barca about Valverde not doing what was right, resigning. Every time a rumor for a new coach comes up, Barca fans are filled with excitement, but eventually Valverde stays confirmed by an official at the club. After all, he has the backing of the club president. The new season has started poorly. Barcelona's tally of 22 points is the fewest of any La Liga leader after 11 matches since the 2000-2001 season. They can no longer afford to make the number of mistakes they have already made if they want to win the league title. League or not, Barca fans want Valverde to leave. The sooner, the better. And with the way things are, not even a treble would stand in their way.